In this video, learn how you can instantly recognize somebody's personality type in 60 seconds or less. In my previous video, I showed you that it was possible to guess somebody's personality type in just under 60 seconds. In fact, the questions, they didn't really matter. I did it mostly based on vibes. So what was it I looked for? What kind of things can you look for when you're trying to figure out if somebody is an introvert or an extrovert? Number one, uh, introverts tend to make this kind of a towering expression. They tend to look down from you, uh, towards you, while tilting their head up. Not as much as in this example, but enough to make you note this. Extroverts, on the other hand, tend to have more of a <laughs> downward pull of their head, and that's generally just ex indicating openness to what you say versus distance from what you say. How do you tell if somebody is an intuitive or a sensor? They have beta of an abstract gaze. They're not looking straight at you. They don't give you straight direct eye contact. It tends to have more, <laughs> what should you say, drifty, dreamy eyes. How do you tell if somebody is a sensor? Well, they tend to give you pretty good, good eye contact. They tend to not blink as much, have more of a direct expression. How do you tell if somebody's a thinking or a feeling type? Feeling types tend to have a bit more warmth in their expressions. They tend to look nicer, more friendly, more agreeable and more accommodating. Thinking types tend to be a bit more confident, self-assured and really assertive. How do you tell if somebody is a judging or a perceiving type? Well, one thing you can look for is that they tend to gesture mostly towards you. Perceiving types tend to gesture more towards themselves. When perceiving types talk, they tend to talk like this <laughs> because they are juggling with ideas. When a judging type tends to talk, they tend to gesture towards you because they are directing their environment. That's it. Don't take it too seriously. It's mostly just for fun. And the most important thing you can do is learn to listen. When you speed type people, the most important thing you want to do is you want to make the person feel seen, heard, listened to and accepted and respected for who they are. And if you're not doing that, you're pretty bad at typing people. 